Year 2017, Krasnodar, Russia. A man finds a cell phone on the street. He is curious, so he checks the photo gallery to identify the owner. What he never imagined is that he would find images of what would become one of the most macabre and abominable crimes of recent times. Photos of human body parts, specifically hands and a head. And to make matters worse, in some images, the phone's owner is seen playing with them as if they were toys. The terrified man reports the incident to the police, who quickly tracked down the phone's owner. When police arrived at his home, they found a scene of terror. The house was messy, but human remains could be seen dissolved in a saline solution and bags of frozen meat. The owner was Dmitry Bakshiv, a 35-year-old married man with an apparently normal life. He had lost his phone while working as a cleaner. Dmitry was born in 1982 and his wife Natalia in 1975. They were an unremarkable family, both working at a military aviation academy. He worked in the cleaning department and she was a nurse. According to Russian media, Dmitry's biological parents were drug addicts and left him abandoned in an orphanage. He was adopted by an older couple there. Dmitry was arrested multiple times for theft during his adolescence. His adoptive father told the press that he did everything he could to help him, but he never listened. Before he left, he set his room on fire. He was arrested four times for theft. He took out loans and used my name as collateral. I had to turn off my phone because the banks wouldn't stop calling me. I tried to help him. I got him several jobs. What else could I do? It's pointless to talk to him. His eyes look like they're made of glass. He looks at you, but he doesn't listen, were his father's words. Dmitri met Natalia in 2012 and moved in with her in a school dormitory, which Natalia had inherited from her previous husband. The couple led an antisocial life. We know that she exerted her influence over him in a bad way a member of the Bakshi family remarked to the press. Natalia had alcohol problems, which led to her dismissal from the military school. Also, several neighbors of the couple said that they were always fighting and that she was very aggressive. Every time we tried to enter their room, they would go crazy shouting and crying. Since Natalia is a scandalous, very aggressive woman, we never risked doing it, said a recruit from the military academy who knew the couple. Although it is speculated that the couple could have killed more than 30 people over almost a decade, the police only found remains of a single victim. Her name was Elena Vakrusheva, born in 1982. Elena was a waitress at a restaurant near the Bakshivi house and apparently was friends with them. The incident occurred one night when a couple named Natalia and Dmitri invited Elena to drink in the local forest. Everything seemed to be going well at first, but things got out of hand when Natalia had a heated argument with Elena in a fit of jealousy. Natalia then ordered Dmitri to kill Elena, although it was later determined that she herself had also participated in dismembering the body. According to the prosecutor's office, Natalia would have realized that her husband had strong feelings for Elena due to his weak character and psychological state. He was under her influence, he didn't deny her anything, and he would do anything she asked. So she asked him to kill Elena, and he took a knife out of his backpack and stabbed her until she was dead. After that, Dmitri put the dismembered remains in a bag and took them to his hostel. 
The next morning he went to Pyotr Metalnikova Street in the Akvareli Micro District, where he was renovating an apartment. It was here that he organized a bloody photo shoot with an amputated hand. After working a shift in the apartment, Bakshif took the human remains to the hostel where he put them in a bucket of water and he went back to sleep peacefully as if nothing had happened. What happened next is already known. Dimitri lost his mobile phone with photos and it was accidentally found by road workers who handed over the terrible discovery to the police. Perhaps one of the most disturbing things about this case is that this couple sold food which they prepared at home and distributed to various businesses and cafes in the city of Krasnodar. It even came out that Natalia was giving away her products made with human meat to the young recruits who attended the school. She made it clear to us that she could get us good meat but I told her that we only work with certified suppliers. It is said that she worked as a chef somewhere, so the police should investigate those other restaurants. Were the statements given by one of the restaurant owners to whom Natalia had offered to supply her products. Natalia Bakshiva was convicted in February 2019. The court found her guilty of incitement to murder she was sentenced to 10 years in a penal colony and 1.5 years in prison. Natalia appealed the decision, but the sentence was upheld. On June 28, 2019, Dmitry Bakshivi was sentenced to 12 years and two months in a maximum security prison. He was also prescribed mandatory supervision and treatment by a psychiatrist. On February 16, 2020, Dmitry Bakshivi died of an untreated type of diabetes while in custody. To this day, it is impossible not to ask ourselves what led this Russian couple to commit such macabre acts, even more so when it was determined that they did not do it out of hunger or need. So, did they do it for pleasure, or was it simply a murderous impulse? The story of Dmitri and Natalia Bakshivi is a story of horror and tragedy. It is a story that reminds us that sometimes we should fear our own species more, as for some human beings, there are no limits to evil.